Good morning to Vlogtober day 15. Have half a month has already passed by. And today just started with me feeling better. No temperature, no headache. Had a normal breakfast and of course, I've been working all morning and that's what I will probably keep on doing <laughs> this afternoon to, you know, catch up on everything that was just not able to do in the past couple of days. Um, so that's my vlog over for that. Um, energetically, nothing special to do. Getting ready to post my wonderful video that I already told you about for tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about this new format that I found where I, you know, say hello, uh, welcome to my video, welcome to you know, um, this, let's start with my poem before we dive into everything else. So yeah, I like doing it with the poem and I love ending it with music. So I hope you enjoy uh, everything that I got for you this time for tomorrow's video. <laughs> Feeling way much better. I'm very excited that I'm allowed to work, do stuff. So many highlights for today. <laughs> Uh, for starters, one of the things that arrived while I was uh, sick was a new light that I, or new ring light that I got that I'm going to show you in a second. It's, uh, as you can see, it's tiny um, and I love that it still has a lot of power so that I can, you know, record videos with it, which I, which I like. Um, and it's very light so that I could actually take it with me when I'm traveling. That's one of the things that I was missing and I was looking for something a little bit that I could use that was that still had some quality. Um, so I'm very excited. And then, and the second thing that arrived, um, that I have been testing and I'm very excited. I'm sad that I'm not able to use it yet. As you can see, because I'm using this one, um, is my new microphone. And I can't wait to start using that one with this camera as well. But this camera is the only one where it doesn't fit yet because it's too short. And if you're wondering, yes, I'm loving recording with my GoPro and I'm going to stick to that. I've been thinking about it. Um, I think a mix between my phone and the GoPro is great, um, but prefer actually even more than the phone is actually the GoPro because it's easier, it's faster. I get the files directly in the SIM card onto my computer. And yes, if you're wondering, the thing is right now I have a uh, Android phone. I'm still an owner of an Android phone. I'm working on that as well. I think for next year, I'm planning on going back to iPhone, which will probably make uh, sending files from my cell phone to my computer easier. Um, yes, I could have could have it a little bit easier, but that's the way it is and that's the way I've been doing it. <laughs> so there, there's a little nerdy, here goes Cyber Witchy, that was my nerdy side. Um, no, I actually needed a new, uh, an, an, a new microphone because this one, it's nice and it's okay, but as you can see, it has cable and it really annoys me to, to use it. I mean... I'm grateful for, you know, for what it has been for the past, I don't know, when did I buy it? Three years ago or four? Um, it's been helpful and I'm grateful that it's been there. Thank you, my wonderful piece of microphone. But I'm also very happy for my new microphone, especially because it looks like a little microphone. So it's going to be more like, hello and welcome. <laughs> So yeah, but I still need the uh, prolonging thingies and I ordered them already and hopefully they might be arriving tomorrow. But yeah, so that's a nerdy, my nerdy side. So after being working all day long, well, not just all day long, I missed out and but I didn't take camera, of course, because um, that's the one part that I will not show here on, on Vlogtober is that I, I did uh, take a break this afternoon to go and hang out with my nieces because they just opened up a new playground for the kids this week in the, you know, and we're here at this village where we're staying. And they opened up that new playground, so everybody was there and it was so much fun. It was so beautiful to see my nieces, how happy they were playing and 
just enjoying with them and then we came back and then you know someone had to do cuddles with them while they were you know getting ready for while my sister got ready got dinner ready um so yeah so that was you know that was my afternoon so i got a little bit of light i'm feeling way better um you know i mean physically it always takes a little bit of time so i'm not you know doing too much um to overdo it i don't want to overdo it too much i'm just glad i can work um so yeah that's the beautiful thing and then of course getting ready for two more days until we have this wonderful full moon so i'm already thinking about what i want to do um probably some ritual outside um maybe i'll take you with me i hope well now that i have the light oh no but the light only works with uh doesn't work on battery oh man well anyhow maybe i'll take the computer with me <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I have that. Oh no, I can actually think of a couple of things how to how to bring a light outside. But yeah, so that's uh, that's one more thing that we can do. Um, yeah, but getting ready for the full moon. What can we do emotionally? What like what is it that I'd like to manifest? What is it that I like to do? One of the things that I've noticed as a highlight for myself today, and I'd like to share that. Actually, I have two highlights. So one highlight that I'm very grateful for, and I feel that that has been a lot of work, energy work in changing my own energy field ever since the year started. Um, this is one thing that I'll probably do an extra video for because it needs, needs way more in depth um, of explanation. But um, I feel that I have, you know, over the past years I've managed to create beautiful energy around myself um, except one thing that still needed tweaking or not just tweaking but actually I want to call it perfection because it wasn't perfect at all um, and that is in the um, you know in the financial on the financial side and I know that this is a topic not everybody wants to talk about but I feel that it's necessary that we start doing it and so one of the things that I did beginning of the year was actually, you know, put myself, um, change, no, not put myself out there, but it's like I changed my energy around it. Um, and I find it incredible at what kind of a point I am at this, you know, at, at the moment where um, I'm actually fine mon money wise. And it hasn't been like that for a while. I'm not saying it's again we're not at the perfect point yet but you know seeing how far I've come in the past couple of months just by you know changing making those little tweaks um, like really setting intentions being more intentional with my energy and I'm not saying that I wasn't before but it's like something has changed you know and that change is now coming to a fruition which i find amazing because i mean we are having october and it's you know it's like i mentioned in one of the vlogtobers before it's you know coming to an end the year the witch's year is coming to an end you know we're close to halloween so there's a lot of you know being grateful thanksgiving as well you know being a thing you know being grateful for what has happened and that's one of the things that i actually noticed today you know um and i'm i'm appreciating that right now for myself for my system you know whenever you have this energetic change of when, when you notice something has changed, when you notice, wow, you know, everything that you have been working towards in the past couple of months and maybe even years, you know, is finally, you know, the circle is closing in. It's like, oh my God, it's coming, it's happening. And it's, you know, it's coming to a point where it's like, huh, so this is what it's feel, what it really feels like when you're there. It's like, oh, nice. <laughs> so yeah, that was the one point. And the other point was, and I, yeah, I am going to share it, even though it feels weird to share, but it, it just, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, the second aha moment that I had was that I realized um, something um, that has been happening recently. 
And again, I would probably have to go in deeper, much deeper, um, to understand, uh, you know, to to fully understand it more deeply. But um, uh, I'm gonna get out there with. I am single, happy single. I am. I have been for a long time, and uh, I've just recently started to think again that it would be nice to, you know, not be by myself. I'm not saying that I haven't, you know, I know we just need to put our energy out there, right? And I know that and I'm very, very well, well aware of that. Um, but of course, I have invited some, uh, I have invited energies <laughs> uh, for me to dabble it with um, so that I can understand certain things better. And um, one of the things that I just recently noticed and you know how, you know how sometimes certain situations being ADHD or probably we rethink a lot of situations over and over again and for me that was rethinking um, a couple of situations that I've been having with uh, potential partners to put it that way in the past couple of months um, and I've realized one thing that actually bothered me all the time that's sort of like in within seconds took away any kind of magic there was, if if there was any, from my side towards those potential partners, you know? Because for me, it was like, wow, they seem interesting and it's nice. And you know, I could, there could be so many things. And then I realized, and, and today was really a aha moment for myself because I realized the one thing that bothered me the most was, the second it was a sensual fl flirtation, to put it that way, the moment it became physical instead of, um, instead of, I don't know, brain energy, anything else but that, um, because it then reduces the connection between two people to sex, I think. I hope I'm allowed to say this. Probably I'll have to peep it out. I don't know. Um, but what I meant was that in the moment it becomes more about, you know, what happens in the bedroom than what happens mentally, emotionally. It just, and it was such an, such an incredible aha moment for me because it was like, dude, how do you get past that? Because the way dating is set up nowadays, it is all about, you know, like the physical attraction between two people. But how is it if that, how do I put this? I, you know, it's, it's, um, I know I can be a good catch. I know, uh, you know, being who I am, I know that, um, you know, I can be attractive for, for potential partners, but are they going to be inspiring to me? Because I realized that that what, you know, really attracts me about another person is, and this goes for friendships as well as potential partners. This, this goes for anything. Am I inspired by someone else? Is someone else, you know, uh, someone that can inspire me, that can, you know, help me grow, help me, um, matches my energies, is able to, you know, maybe even trigger stuff so that I can transform things within myself. Um, is that possible? You know, um, is that possible to be connected to someone on that level that it's, you know, I think it's called sapiosexual or I'm going to call it spiritual sexual because for me it's being able to talk to someone about personal development, about technology, about all of those wonderful things, everything that, that inspires me um, and having a partner that does that and the moment um, and as long as that isn't established and I'm saying that I think that's the part as long as that is not an established fact between two people, um, it's hard to bring the sexual part with it, if you know what I mean. And this is coming from someone that used to find connection, not 
you know, because I wasn't able to do that, exactly that connection that I just told you, because I wasn't able to find that out, um, I would go on for physical connection, but physical connection fades out so fast. It's, it just fades out so fast. It's on an energetic level. It's horrible. I find it horrible to, to, um, to maintain on a certain level. Probably, I don't know if it's because I'm an empath, because I'm adhd -er. I don't know. But realizing that today was, so oh my God, was so crazy for me, um, because it changes the whole way of, you know, finding the partner is definitely not gonna happen through an app that just, you know, just works on physical attraction because that's not the attraction I'm looking for, right? Um, it's completely on a different level and that aha moment is so incredible and now it's like okay so where can, where can you find that other kind of connection if you guys know anything about that and I know I'm I'm this is this is really interesting for me this is really interesting because it's showing me so many different other things and being open with you guys about this right now is also very crazy for myself as well um, because usually these are the things that I keep to myself and you know, I just go and think about them for myself um, So yeah, maybe it inspires you for something. I don't know or maybe you're just gonna go like oh man Yes, you are right. So What do we do about it? Like it, are there any apps that actually, you know build that stuff up that we're just talking about or not If you know any let me know if not, maybe we can put get together and build something like that um, but yeah so those were my highlights of the day. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hopefully finish this video earlier, as usual, and then finish w working a little bit more. Um, but yeah, share my two, th two cents in my vlog for you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it today again. Um, I hope it inspires you to do something. And um, as always, my beautiful souls, stay magical and looking forward talking to you tomorrow again. <laughs> Bye everybody!